down there. From Botox um, to face creams, from lasers to dermabrasion, Americans spend about $12 million a year in the war against wrinkles. After all, who wants to look older than they feel? It can't everybody. be me. No, it must have been your twin. Not even. It's my grandmother. By age 60, Maria Gould's fair skin showed significant signs of aging. We age at a rate that's going to be determined by our genetic makeup and then environment. What did we do? How much sun exposure did we have? Did we gain a lot of weight and then lose it? How much elasticity is in our skin? As we age, the layers of our skin change. The outer layer, or epidermis, thins, allowing much-needed moisture to escape. In the second layer, or dermis, less collagen is produced, and fibers that give the skin flexibility wear out. At the same time, fat cells in the subcutaneous layer get smaller, leading to sagging and creasing. Add in years of damage from smoking or from sun exposure. Wow. There's the sun damage. Maria fought back with a deep chemical peel that took years off her face. A surgery cannot be expected to pull out all the fine little lines. It can't be expected to change the quality of the skin any more than pulling a shirt uh, is a substitute for, for ironing it. This is a very common misconception, very common, that surgery is the answer to aged skin of the face. It isn't. Surgery is an answer to sags and bags, to jowls, saggy neck, heavy platysma, neck muscle, flapping in the breeze, the turkey neck, whatever you want to call it. Surgery is the answer, but it can't address skin quality. Okay, let me have you smile really big for me. A bit of Botox tackles leftover dynamic wrinkles, those caused by muscle movements such as frowns and smiles. If you're a squinter, and if you can possibly use some sort of behavioral modification, it will help you not to form permanent wrinkles in the future. The center lines have a lot of memory, so I can make them softer, but they're not going to go away 100%. But when I make your lips a little fuller, that's going to stretch them out, too. Linda Burns is more concerned with her static wrinkles, those that occur in the folds of the face and around the lips as the skin ages. Usually we use Botox in the, up in the forehead and around the eyes to soften you know, the weakened muscles. But in this area, we don't want weakened muscles so that you can't, you can't smile. So we, do we plump instead. Plumping is done with an injectable derma filler. Depending on the type, the results can last from 6 to 18 months. People come, I want it to be permanent. I want it to last forever. And I said, really? What if there's a lump or a bump? It can happen. Now you permanently have a lump or a bump. So that's not something I think that, that you necessarily want. I think the, the idea that it slowly goes away over a period of time is not such a bad idea. For mild wrinkles, laser resurfacing, microdermabrasion, and topical treatments like retinoids can be effective. But the best way to treat wrinkles is to reduce your risk. Don't smoke. Eat foods full of antioxidants. And above all, use sunscreen every day. After all, wrinkles could be the least of your worries. Someone dies of skin cancer of malignant melanoma every hour, about one every 67 minutes. For WebMD, I'm Sandy Lamott.